welcome to the channel the house has been delivered this is crazy it feels like at a certain point in this process it everything just goes really really fast and this is kind of when everything started heating up the house was delivered in two pieces it came from oregon uh down south in oregon and actually had to go all the way to biggs junction to cross the columbia river there aren't a lot of larger bridges in our area so they had to go out of their way to come over to our side of the river on the washington side the house got there it was dropped off with the pilot vehicles and at that point the crawler came off of one of the trucks the crawler is an amazing piece of machinery it's so small but basically hooks on to the front of the house and pulls it down just with crazy precision uh, the crawler is really small and is remote controlled so that was really cool to watch just how it goes and i kept joking the whole time i was like man you must be so good at the claw machine game because this is this is intense our house uh where the front of the house is basically the trailer part of the house that gets hooked into was on the wrong side so we actually had to have our contractor dig out more space on the um, opposite end of our house so that the crawler could pull the house in so we could have the right side of our house facing the mountain that we wanted and still get the crawler out which was kind of unfortunate i guess if you would have known this earlier in on the game you could have asked them to put those hooks on the other end just something we didn't know at the time so we had to do extra work at the end the house came in though with those crawlers really slow at one point they did have to wench the house and the crawler just because the ground was so wet from the season i mean it's not super wet but it's just soft so it's kind of sinking uh they only had to do that once though for the first portion of the house and once they got past that it seemed like everything was really easy going and honestly the whole thing was just a few hours so really amazing how fast just shows like how uh these guys are so good at their job drops the house off and there's still a middle part of the house that's not connected the marriage line and uh they left the house with a little bit of gap in between the two pieces that you could actually still walk in between and we were kind of thinking that the house would have to stay like that for who knows like a couple of weeks until they could get someone out there to marry the two pieces together uh just based on what we've heard from other people and their experiences uh, but no way they came out the next day and married those two pieces together put the siding and everything like that together and then did the roofing there's still a lot on the inside that they have to do but they can't do those pieces until we have the rest of our utilities ready to go so that's kind of what we're working on right now we have a well driller up on site who's drilling the well we're working on getting our electricity and the septic system, which we did have on site when we bought the property, um, needs some repairs before they can bring it up to the house. But once it gets brought up to the house, the housing company is actually the one who is responsible for marrying the house together and hooking up all the utilities. So once that has been completed, we're gonna be really close to doing a final inspection and walkthrough of the house with the company just to make sure that they fix everything, all the little things that may have um, happened during transit, they'll work on putting those together and then we'll have a house that we can live in. And I'm just so excited. I know Chris is excited. This has been a long time coming. We're living in a trailer and we're so ready to be living in a house with walls <laughs> and doors. It's gonna be really exciting. Um, so enjoy these little clips. We kind of snuck into the house at the end of the day just to see what it all looked like. Obviously all the plastic is still up where the house is gonna be married together. So you kind of have to use your imagination because you can't really like walk from one end of the house to the other without getting into the plastic. But once the house gets married together, all of that will be gone. It'll look like a normal house on the inside. So we're excited.